His death sparked protests and calls for justice and raised in a way nothing has before the need to help those suffering from mental illnesses in New York City. Hundreds today at the funeral for Jordan Neely. 18 days after he was placed in a chokehold on the subway and died, he was eulogized today by Reverend Al Sharpton, who focused mostly on using this tragedy as a clarion call for New York City to finally deal with the mental health crisis. I was news reporter N.J. Burkett was at the funeral for us. He's live in Harlem right now. Newt. Right, Bill, the Mount Nebo Baptist Church, where, yes, hundreds mourned Neely's death. Reverend Al Sharpton, you mentioned him a moment ago, is giving the eulogy. He slammed how society treats the mentally ill, and he blasted the way Neely died. Good Samaritans, he said, help people. They don't choke them out. For the mourners, it's an incomprehensible loss that Jordan Neely should die the way he did. He's an example of how you're choking the homeless, how you're choking the mentally ill, how you're choking all over this city. And we come to say this choking got to stop. In a passionate eulogy, Reverend Al Sharpton said society is failing the mentally ill. They don't need abuse. They need help. Neely's death has shocked and divided New York. He was wrestled into a chokehold after witnesses say he burst onto an F train and began ranting, throwing trash and threatening riders. Neely lost consciousness and died. Daniel Penny, a 24-year-old ex-Marine, was later charged with manslaughter. He claims he acted to protect himself and his fellow riders. Neely was 30 years old, homeless, with a documented history of mental illness and dozens of arrests. He once panhandled in the subway as a Michael Jackson impersonator. His supporters contend he had not harmed anyone on the train before he was subdued. Among the mourners, Neely's father, brother, and extended family, as well as prominent political leaders, including Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who declared Neely's death an act of murder. And I think it's important that we all see and know and recognize that a human life, that a human life is recognized. I'm certainly committed personally to make sure that we do not allow vulnerable New Yorkers to continue to fall through the cracks the way we allow Jordan Neely to fall through the cracks. Reverend Sharpton said Neely's death must be a catalyst for change. We're going to change how they deal with the mentally ill. In your name, we're going to change services in this city. Jordan, you didn't die for nothing. Neely's mother was murdered in 2000, said it's been said that he never recovered that, from that, that he had never been the same since then. Her funeral was held in the same church.